Greetings programs, I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 37 of a Swedish learning to play run with no mods and no DLC and as today is January the 3rd of 2023 while I'm recording this, I am contractually obligated to say that I have not recorded or uploaded since last year. All right, and as I watch my subscriber count plummet, I do. Uh, it has been actually a couple of weeks since I recorded. I went on vacation to Scotland. It was brilliant. I loved it, every minute of it, except for uh, the, the the plane rides. But uh, it was fun. It's inspired me so much to. I want to see if at some point there's a way to play as Scotland uh, in this game. I don't think there is right now. I've tried a Hoi 4 game in Scotland, and uh, yeah, there's not much to it. <clears throat> but um, I'd love to try a to see if, if, this, if Scotland is playable in Vicky 3. I think that could be a lot of fun. But anyway, for now, we're playing Sweden. So uh, back to this. In the last episode, we had an event pop up towards the end of it over here. Uh, that we're trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I believe uh, the U.S. backed down from a claim. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what 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 that gets me, what I can do. I have no possible diplomatic plays against the U.S. for some reason. I guess I share no borders with them or whatever. I do, however, have some diplomatic plays here against Uta Jalan. Uh, I believe I have a claim. Yes, Sweden has a claim on this now, probably because of what the U.S. was doing, I think, maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> and I've got a claim on American Guinea as well. So I have no idea what's going on here. We're going to... We're going to start this episode off by experimenting experimenting a little bit. We are not playing in Iron Man mode. So in the interest of learning how the game works, we're just going to we're going to try out some of these and see what happens. Make Dominion is the most interesting here or make puppet. Is there do they have anything They've got the Niger River, which adds to infrastructure, which is really nice. They've got 509,000 people working there. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of people. And let's see, they've got some millet farms. They've got some banana plantations, some tobacco plantations, some cotton, some coffee. They've got some barracks going on, uh, so I should probably be a little leery of that. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think I've run out of employable. This only does like uh, one thousand, I believe. So let's get let's get a few more in here, and then. Oops, no, I don't want to unpause just yet. Because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Yeah, right, we're just, we're experimenting. So I'm going to do something here, and if it goes horribly wrong, we're just going to reload. Here we go. Wait, is this what I wanted to get to? I think so. Yeah, it's weird how to trying to figure out how to get to the. They are wary of me. As well, they should be. Ah, uh, let's see. Anything here? They're improving relations with Kaor. Regime change, open their market, ban slavery. 
Make dominion. Okay. Start a subjugate. 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 I, I don't know why I cannot pronounce this word all of a sudden. Uh, Futo Jalan diplomatic play. Initial war goal. Sweden forces to become a dominion. They turn a weaker country into their dominion. A dominion is a more autonomous subject. They are able to start their own diplomatic plays and are not forced to join their overlord's wars. They must pay 10% of their treasury income to their overlord each week. Uh, diplomatic incident in Senegal. Giving 3.7 3.7 infamy to Sweden and reducing the relations with 13 countries. Uh, we will have these allies. We believe these countries may join either side or remain neutral. Diplomatic play may escalate into a war. Let's see what Make Puppet does. A puppet is a subject type that cannot start their own. cannot start their own diplomatic plays, right? That are able to. So dominions have a bit more autonomy. Three point seven, same sort of damage. How do I annex it? I just want to annex them. I just want I just want to paint the map. How do I do that? Okay, well of the two. I think a puppet is more desirable because they're they can't do any sort of diplomatic plays and i've got my mouth my hand in front of my mouth again uh, and they can't uh and they, they pay me more of their income so let's do that let's see what happens They are fearful. Okay, let's unpause. Norway and Norway abandoned their support. What? That's annoying. Let's see. Syria is improving relations. Spain is leaning towards Futajalan. The U.S. is leaning towards me. going on here bureaucratic shortfall that's nice oh do i do i should i pay attention to any of these things uh that's might be a little problematic but i think that's probably that's just because everything coming from north germany is going to be a little unproductive right now because of the the little civil war they have going on high tensions to be expected isolated state region i believe i started building a port there last episode Unproductive trade routes. Oh wait, that was something else. Oh well. Expensive goods. Glass is still expensive. Six battalions in reserve. Where are these guys located? Oh right, because I don't have generals signed to these uh, HQs. They're just going to be considered in reserve, which is fine. I just want them guarding the border for right now, and then once the war kicks up, I'll probably send down send down old jewels here. We're not going to mobilize them just yet. Watch this unfold. They're still fearful. I'm hoping that they'll just back down. War reparations, that's fine. Let's 
Spain has joined. Oops, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's go see if we can sway the U.S. to get involved here. Sway. Do we want to offer them an obligation? Let's see, this does not use up any of my... Yeah, I'd rather offer to ban slavery. Spain damaging relations, that's fine. Norway improving relations, that's fine. I want to see if the US is going to... Okay, I think maybe I didn't... Follow through with that. United States sides with Sweden. Ha ha, there we go. Oh right, and they're on the other side there, so that's gonna that's gonna help. Uh, how do I mobilize? Should I start the mobilize? The US is doing a lot of the mobilizing here, that's gonna help. Go ahead and we will mobilize you and start see if that doesn't start getting them to back down a little bit let's see all these other guys are popping out yes they have backed down Achievement unlocked, institutional, that's cool. I got an achievement there. Yielding their primary war goal to us. Hot damn, it worked. Hot dog, y'all, that's awesome. All right, cool, so. All right. Let's see now. Is now can I annex them? And grant them independence. Whoop de doo. Uh, let's see. Tyrannical oppressor. Maybe they can win. Negative one thousand one hundred twenty-five. How do I annex a puppet? That's what I'd like to know. So there, a puppet. Owes an obligation to Spain. Got a truce, interest Senegal, okay. Well, okay, uh, I've got uh, plenty of that, uh, and it's not like 
I mean, their attitude is so low, it's not gonna, like, I know that I have to have, like, I believe I have probably have to have a pretty low uh, attitude in order to, um, and I, I mean, I'm assuming that I need to do that in order to annex them. So, uh, so yeah, we'll just begin improving relations on the off chance that I need to. And then once this episode is over, I'll go do a little research on how to annex. Let me write a note. Um, oops, something just happened. I should pause it while I've turned away from the screen for a second. Oops, I just tore a hole in my notepad. Okay, uh, research how to annex puppets. Cool, all right. Uh, yeah, so that went surprisingly well. Let's go check on the other colonies. Uh, I think we're still building stuff here, which is fine. I was hoping to annex them just so that I could get access to that population, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. We're going to unpause. Uh, let's see, Russia is still trying for territory over here. I wonder if I can antagonize these guys and start a... No. Okay, that's fine. Mission to Africa. A group of Christian missionaries wants to bring salvation of the Gospels to our colony in Swedish Congo. Let's see. 100% conversion. Migration attraction. Uh, they get a little bit of political... They get some political... Decent amount of political strength. And a little bit of approval. Uh, tensions between Loango and Sweden. That's good. Uh, let's make sure the church isn't too powerful already before I approve this. Uh, they're only at 4.9% and they're neutral. Neutral plus one. Total approval is my minus three. I don't... Why is that? Oh, that's just from the active laws. Okay. Forty-two percent of political strength in the interest group is loyalist. How in the world do I manage that? That seems like a good way to... That seems like a stable way, because like some of these others are only temporarily, but if I can... Wow, I have no idea. Okay. Opium addict. Nice. Uh, so yeah, they're not too terribly... Sorry, I was just trying to see why the armed forces were so happy. They're not too terribly powerful right now, so we can afford to throw them a bone, and it will lower tensions with Loango. I'm hoping if the tensions get low enough, I'll start a war there, and I can just take them over and just gobble them up before Russia has a chance to, to get any more. So that would be nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unpause. Productive trade routes. That's fine. Because uh, those are all staples. We don't care if they're uh, cheap. The unproductive trade route means it just costs more to import them than their merchants are getting from selling them. Spain stopped damaging relations. That's very helpful. Uh, let's see. Oh, who do we got? Chile is still trying to work their way down in here. Cool, cool. Rather slowly, though. Uh, how much of my population is unemployed? We've got almost 2,000 peasants. Colony of Dutch Timbuktu. Let's see where they're colonizing. Okay, up in here. Not much I can do there. Okay, so back over here real quick. We're just going to take a quick gander at what we can do. I could, theoretically, some of these methods, one of these frees up. That'll only free up 500. I'm already doing as much as I can there. The steam donkey 
yeah, the Steam Donkey is what I want to use here. That'll free up a couple of thousand, which should let me, uh, that'll, that, it'll free up 2,000 because I'm at level 2, so that's basically 1,000 per level, but it'll, it'll give me a total of 4k, which mean which is what the total amount of population, or, yeah, the requirements will be 4k for the next level, so essentially, once I get the Steam Donkey, I can improve that and then bump this up a level. Ironclad unlocked. Very good. Rail transportation would do the same thing. Uh, I can't publicly trade this yet. Why not? Uh, I have to have atmospheric engine, condensing engine, or diesel pump. Would any of these... These would give me more coal. But... Um, and it would, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would have the educational requirements over here in order to to meet that population. Amount. I'd have to throw down the um, social mobility thing again, and that eats up authority. I've probably got enough to do, yeah, I could, theoretically. Let's see, anything over here to be 3,000 peasants. 7.65 peasants. Let's see. Is there anything? Yeah, we'll ping you up a notch. And then I think that's where we're going to call it for today. We've already run over a little bit, which is fine. Oh, multiplayer. Thought I was logged in. Huh. All right. Anyways, save game. Save. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that as much as I have. I hope your new year is going great. Thank you for joining with the start of mine. By the time you see this, it'll be about a, our year 2023. You'll be about a, a week old. Uh, but yeah, if you have enjoyed that, please be sure to do all the YouTube stuff. As always, I take it as a kindness. It helps me out a lot. And do remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we all learned something today. And I'll see you guys next time.